Hello and welcome back. I'm DMAC and today I'm going to look at picking this multi-lock uh, padlock as you can see the shackles come out there. I'll explain why in just a sec. Uh, first of all just to say I'm doing this as a uh, entry into Yard Bend Day's 500 subs giveaway. Big congratulations on that big milestone. And well deserved. Um, if you don't uh, follow his channel, uh, subscribe to it. I'll leave a little link down below. Go and check it out. Um, he's a godlike picker um, in the, the Loxy picks are just sort of out of this world. Um, and something I, I aspire to sort of have that level of skill uh, picking locks on Monday. Hopefully I will. Anyway, he's asked us to pick a lock we've not picked on camera before and gut it all in one take. Um, so I'm going to do this one here. I got this recently from eBay. came keyless. I didn't know anything about it and I've played around with it. I managed to open it last night and then I realised it was guttable, which is awesome because I've, I've never had one of these multi-lock style of padlocks. I think it's a C-series. I don't know. If you know the model, then do let me know down below. Anyway, I started trying to gut it and the shackle kind of popped out and I thought, Actually, I'd like to do it on camera. These are actually, as far as I know, they're a bit of a pain in the arse. And as you sort of, they don't have like a normal kick cylinder in there. As you take them apart, they all kind of explode. So that'll be funny for you to watch. And perhaps if I um, do it on video, I can always refer back to it to reassemble it. Anyway, so I'm going to get him in the vise and we'll try and get him picked. So I've got him set up in the vise now. Um, I'll use a, got a tock wrench here and we'll stick him in there. You just see he's got like a little sprung shutter on the front. But when we put tension on, it forces that open. Um, and we'll zoom in a bit. Um, so this has got, I think it's an MT5 core. I stand to be corrected. Um, and we need to start off um, with a little check pin down the back, I think. Make sure he's set. When I picked it last night, it, it, it bound first, um, and once that, once I've got him set, there we go, a nice click at the back. Once I got him set, then the pins were started being a bit more responsive. It kind of feels like serrated pins in here, so we'll try and get on those outer pins. And give everything a little bit of a nudge up. I did find when I picked it yesterday that that little check pin, I think it's got alpha pin, sorry, I think it's alpha pin, uh, it seemed to drop down now and again, so periodically I'll just go back and make sure he's pushed up there nicely I filed down a cheap hook uh, to make give it a really sharp point um, to be able to set that check pin. Oh, we've got a nice deep set. You see the core move there? So I think that means we're on the home straight, hopefully. And there we go. We're open. We didn't get any shackle pop because uh, the shackle's already out. Oh, man, that was nice and speedy. That was, I enjoyed that. Um, I don't think we need the core. Um, just get them out, keep them in frame as always. Don't think we need the core to be open. You can just see, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, you can just see the, the locking pull there. If I can get it in focus, the locking pull um, going back there. So we've got it open. Awesome. Um, so if we get this screw out, we should be able to um, have a look inside. 
I think that's really when the fun's going to start because uh, it could end up going everywhere. So we'll clear the decks, clear a bit of room. That screw's already worked out a little bit, that grub screw. I've seen one video on taking these apart. I mean, surely it can't be that hard, can it? Famous last words. So I think, yeah. Well, after I got this lock, um, I uh, I squirted a whole load of sort of uh, silicon spray in there. Because when you get a lock without a key, there's a lock in pause there. When you get a lock without a key, um, you don't really know if it's working, you don't know if it's all sort of gunked up. Okay, so we've got a couple of springs there, the lock in pulls, that's the core, and as that rotates, it pulls these back in, uh, which allows that shackle to pop out. Um, and, oh, Oh, there's a spring there, that's for the actual shackle itself. Nothing else at the back. We've got a spring just here. And that's for that shutter guide. So I think it looks like you've, it's similar to a Euro cylinder looking. Um, but I think that that part and this part are separate. So as I slide it out, it's going to want to explode everywhere. So I've got to kind of keep it together. All right, and that's everything from the lock body. Uh, <laughs> how to do this. I'm going to do it on my mat. It's kind of ribbed. Uh, there we go. And we'll just let them slowly go. Okay. So we've lost a few drivers there. And key pins, that's a key pin just there. Oh no, that's a driver pin, sorry. All of our key pins are still in there, so I'm just gonna move that over here. We'll try and make sense of this. So that's one, that's five, six, and we've got two, that's, sorry, three, and then one. So let's just have a look at these. Can't quite get you in focus. Why is that? Doesn't want to focus. So we've got a standard outer and it looks like it's serrated on the inner. And then that's sprung there. Lovely stuff. Okay, got some springs. I'm really glad I videoed this actually. When I popped it last night and got it open, I was really kind of tempted to um, gut it then and just see what's inside. What have we got in three? Three seems to be a standard pin. Uh, four's a standard pin. Five's a standard, but it does have a little serration on it. Not sure why my camera is not focusing. Not wanting to play ball at all, is it? Um, oh, there you can see it. So I've got one serration on there. Oh, I almost got to focus. There you go, one serration on, the, on that one. And they've got a pin in pin on one, two, and five. So I think from what I've seen, that does look like the alpha pin, because it's got like a little, uh, it kind of wedges out there. I can just see them all in there. You see all the pins in there, and what I was doing, I was reaching down like that, and just trying to set that pin there. You just see that's pushing that one up. So let's take him out, have a look at him. So yeah, it's kind of a funny shape, but you've got that little sort of uh, tail on it almost. So that's six, I think. 
These are all gunked up because I went and put um, lubricant all in it. Let's try and do this a different way. Okay, push them up there. So it looks like a pin and pin, that one. Two is a standard, not a pin and pin. Three is a standard. So much easier to get locks when they're not um, covered in grease. That looks like a T-pin to me. Oh no, it's not a T-pin. I think that's just, it's, I'm figuring this out as I go along. Uh, yeah, focus. It looks like a T-pin. Uh, it doesn't act like a T-pin, it's just so that it sits in that little shelf uh, just inside the plug hole there. So when I watched a video on the on the MT5 after someone said this could be an MT5, I've got a master way for that. I'm pretty sure they were all pin in pin, um, but this one doesn't appear to be. So I'll let you have a quick zoom in on those pins there. So we've got a pin in pin up the top, and there's a standard down the bottom. So the only um, is it one, two? Oh no, they are. Let's just have a look. No, they don't have pins inside. They're just like a little sort of a dimple. One definitely has got there's a pin in pin. Yeah, I can see it there. And they're not. It's not falling apart because. Uh, because all that crap that I squirted in it into it to free them up. There you go. So there's pin in pin in one. That one's just got the dimple at the bottom. Yep. That one's just got the dimple at the bottom. That one's just got the dimple at the bottom. I, th I assume they're all pin in pin. There you go. Just testament to my crap dimple <laughs> dimple picking skills. So there's one actual pin and pin, and then you've just got that uh, alpha pin down the back. So do let me know in the comments if this is uh, an MT5 or it's something else, because uh, my knowledge of multi locks is pretty sparse. Either way, that was a really fun pick, um, and I'm glad I got this one open. Um, congratulations again to your Ben Day for the 500 subs. Hopefully, this qualifies me for your awesome giveaway, buddy. Um, and yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Leave a little uh, link up there to subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.